and we are back hello everybody welcome back to Cremiel the Fallen Angels adventure yes the adventure must continue I did notice the other video did actually well pretty well considering my my channel that is just kind of hidden from YouTube in general so I decided you know what the series must continue <laughs> The series must continue now. Alright, we do need to level up. So, initially, I did not plan to make another video so soon, but... I do see the other video getting a little bit of traction. So... I think it's only right that I continue now. Alright, we have to level up on both Shadowheart and Kremiel. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of stuff here. I am seeing a lot of stuff. Alright. So we get extra HP increase by 8. What is this? Profane Smite on critical hit weapon damage. Okay. So we have three Profane Smites. One is on critical hit weapon damage. Is, are these? No, they're not passives. I thought they are passives. Well, wait, on miss does not spend a spell slot? Oh my god. Wait. So I can use three of these in a in a single turn because they don't use a spell slot. I I'm sorry. I, I have 55 hours into this game and I'm still confused on how action and uh, what's it called secondary action I think work. Uh, great weapon fighting might be good because we do have a great sword with this class apparently. Uh, defense though. Defense though. I'm not gonna go with dueling because this is for two-handed or versatile weapons. Protection, we have no shield, so we have defense and great weapon fighting. Uh, I may sip some coffee every now and then, excuse that. Uh, by the way, do let me know how you guys like the uh, audio fading. Because I have, I, I have tried just a little bit with that one, I'm not gonna lie. They took a little bit of, you know what, let's go defense. I did take my time on setting the audio fading. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we got absorb elements. We have protection from evil and good. Sanctuary arms of Hadar. I do like this one. I know Will gets this usually, no? I'm pretty sure. I've not played with Will a lot, but... Ooh, Venomous Smite. Uh, I know Poison is kind of trash in the game, but I don't know if it's the same with mods. I am not going to lie. They, they, there may be some rebalancing going on. Uh, spoiler alert. After I finish this playthrough... Uh, actually, let me... You know what? Let me set some uh, actual rules for this playthrough right now. So, here are the rules. If my entire party dies, if I get a party wipe... Uh, I will stop playing this character. I will consider this character as perma-dead, okay? And I'm gonna make a new one. And uh, for this to run... We are playing basically kind of a... I know it says Shadow Weaver, it says Blackguard right now, actually. For some reason, it said Shadow Weaver before. No? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very much confused. You know what? Let me let me actually check. Was I not a Shadow Weaver? It says Black Guard. I am very much confused right now. I'm gonna have to go back to the to the other video and and check. But I'm pretty sure we were a Shadow Weaver anyway. Uh, defense it is. I don't know how poison works in this. I know I was gonna say something, but my my short term mem sh shirt, <laughs> my short term memory loss is is pain. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. It's it's gotten worse since I finished high uh, not high school. Oh my god, university. There we go. I'm 28. I have not finished high school now. Okay, <laughs> it's been a while actually. It's been 10 years. Yes. I don't want to go with sanctuary, even though it's good. Um. 
Do let me know if you guys want uh, something specific for the next playthrough. That's what I was gonna say. Okay, so if my if I get a party wipe, I am gonna I'm going to restart. Okay, I'm doing this until I finish the game. Okay, those are my rules. We restart if I party wipe. I, I will consider that perma dead. Okay, and we restart now. The, the way in which I will restart is I may add some extra mods on the next playthrough, okay? Just probably something that enhances my levels, okay? And probably something that enhances difficulty. I already have something in mind. So, yeah. There is that. Uh, Chilling Smite is good, because cold damage is actually kind of good. Oh, wow. This applies Bone Chill. This is very good, actually. I don't have a... Uh... What, what is that move called? Oh, the hand... The ha I forgot what the name of this move is. This, the, the name of this attack. The Bone Chill Hand. It, it might actually just be called Bone Chill. But I forgot. Anyway, uh, I may choose this one. I like the absorb elements, but I think chilling smite is actually the the play. It's a bonus action. False life is definitely a, a strong contender for something, and doom does damage now. What? Zephyr strike? What the flip is Zephyr? A move like the wind, allowing you to avoid provoking opportunity attacks. I can just get in there, huh? Okay. And then we got cause fear. Well, I'm already frightening people apparently with what I got, so I'm not gonna do that. This is a blind for up to 33 hit points. That's a lot of hit point blind, actually. So I can basically kind of blind almost anybody in Act 1. Uh, I already know where, where I'm gonna have trouble. It's it's down in the underground. <laughs> Damn dwarves are OP as hell. Detect magic is decent, but I'm not gonna take that. I will possibly need this later though. In the underground again. But let me check dark vision. Hmm. So I'm resistant to necrotic, but I'm not immune to it. Why? <laughs> Why am I not immune to Necrotic? Okay, uh... Arms of Hadar is decent. They don't use Reaction. Then you got Ray of Sickness, which is also decent. Uh, th this one was destroying me in the Goblin Camp, by the way, in default playthrough. Ray of Sickness is pain early on to deal with. 1d6. I don't know if Chilling Smite is ranged. That's that's my biggest issue. Then we got Hex. Um... No. I may just go with Chilling Smite or False Life. Dilemma, Dilemma. False Life is good because hit point... This is basically shield, okay? False hit points are basically shields. If you've never played Baldur's Gate, that's what temporary hit points mean. They're basically shields. Okay, they're, they're shields, which can be maintained. They're a little bit of a pain to maintain, but can be maintained. I think I'm going Chilling Smite. This, this decision took a while. Oh my god, my sound was so loud in my ears. Okay, we got 17 HP on Shadowheart. I will respect Shadowheart. I don't like Trickster. <laughs> uh, let's cancel this. Uh, ceremony? What? Why do I? What is this spell selection? What the flip? That is so bad. Um, I may go sanctuary definitely. I think I'm going with Shadowheart as a, like a buffer slash healer. So sanctuary definitely. At, at least until I get uh, what's his face the the skeleton guy, so I can respec. I don't remember if I have a respec mod. So yeah. These two are definitely good. I will only take one concentration spell, because it's very annoying having 
few of those at the same time. Let's see. You you can't use both of them. That's the mo I think. I think anyway. Because if I recall, the way concentration works is you only get to use one of them. Let's see. I think I only cast uh, one concentration spell at a time. Yes, they, they break. Which is a little bit annoying that they kept this with mods as well, actually. I am hoping to find a mod that lets me stack concentration spells. Because as much as I like having to concentrate on a, singer, on a singular spell, <laughs> I would love to have to... To have the mental fortitude to just concentrate on two at, at least, okay? You know, it's just me, I guess. I guess somebody that has 17 wisdom should be able to concentrate on at least two spells, in my opinion, okay? That should be base game, if you ask me, but... I'm not gonna shit on Baldur's Gate 3's decision-making on this, on Larian's decision-making, because they did make a great game, okay? I will just point that out. I, I love this game, okay? Also, I love a, a lot of other games, which I will consider playing on the channel. I'm currently doing a Cyberpunk playthrough, modded, and uh, I'm having a blast. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Uh, create or destroy water is good, but here's the problem I got right now. I do not have any freezing spell, so I'm gonna remove that. Um, Inflict Wound is very strong, Guiding Bolt is decent strong as well, it's also ranged. This one is melee, which I don't like, actually. Ah, uh, good old coffee. I think I'm taking Blast. Uh, never mind. I forgot that we have to take one Concentration spell. Um, Protection from Evil and Good is... Strong, but I have a strong belief that if I recall in act one, you don't really have to deal with uh, Celestials, Elementals, Fey, Fiends and Undead all that much In the underground Which I forgot the actual name of You do have One fight where a dude just summons a bunch of dead guys so that that's maybe where we just take that, I guess. I'm gonna take Shield of Fate for now. We do have this, which is new for me anyway. I'm pretty sure this is from a mod. Ah, don't ask me which one, it's in the mod collection, okay? <laughs> and then this, this is useless for me. This is basically skeletons that glow in the dark as a, uh, as a form of light source. I don't think they do any sort of damage. So yeah. And then we got Detect Evil and Good, which I guess is good, if you want to make use of uh, both of these. But I'm pretty sure they're one-time use each, so I'm not gonna... Command, though. I will remove Command. I will remove Command. I think I'm taking Guiding Bolt. I will remove Command because I don't like using Command in general. Um, I don't know how good it is in general. I'm trying to think of a way to make use of it early on. Um, yeah, I, I can't, can't think of one. There may be a lot of people that actually know how to make use of that spell, but I do not. I'm not one of those. Alright. Um, I think we have a scene. Wait, I have Hellish Rebuke. Hold up, we gotta we gotta prepare. Yeah, I am a shadow weaver. A black guard shadow weaver. I was right, okay, never mind. I knew I remember being a shadow weaver, I just didn't know why I was also black guard. Anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I may forget. Shade shield. Uh I do need reaction. Uh this is not prepared, I don't care about that. At least rebuke. I'm gonna just make everything an ask for, okay? Uh, except opportunity attack. We just... We just let that go. Um, let's see, this wasted, wasting a spell slot. We don't really like that. This always a spell slot. 
But when you are about to be hit by an enemy, increase armor class by 5, no damage from magic. Miss, uh, okay, so this is basically like the one you get from uh, Wizard. Alright. Hellish Rebuke is not bad. Okay, I think... I think we good. Oh, I forgot Waz is not working. Man, I, I really just... Uh, ooh, Shadow Mail. This is new. Alright. I really just hope they fix Waz. At least for this current patch I'm on. <laughs> okay. I will be making use of darkness at some point. Let me make sure I have the attacking spells right here. Um, I think this is also the fear one, the debuff, if I recall. It's been a few days since I've actually played, because I've been waiting to see how the video, the other video does. But yeah, let's see, we are currently 16 minutes. It took me 16 minutes to level two characters, oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, alright. Alright, I will be switching between... ...seeing stuff and not seeing stuff, you know what I mean. We do want the camp supplies, so... Okay. Accidentally clicked on the book instead of the bag. But it's fine. You know what I remember? I remember the Asimar, the, the half angel, to be able to fly. So I guess I this mod list kind of changed something about that. Maybe just a little bit of a nerfed uh, version. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a nerfed version of the half angel. I'm just going to take as many supplies as I can. Um, we're not proficient, we don't care about that. I'm not going Bard. I know Bard is OP, I've been looking into... A lot of builds for default, uh, Baldur's Gate, and I know Bard was one of the most OP ones. Apparently. Right, let's unlock this. I don't think I can unlock the door from here, but I'm gonna try. It's very... Let me see, can I? Oh, my game crashed. And we're back. Alright, I think my leveling went through and I think I just gotta... I just gotta not lockpick that one. Uh, sometimes the game just randomly crashes, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know, it's a little bit... Weird, but we do have a bunch of mods loaded in, so I'm gonna take this one. I don't recall if this is an actual quest or not. Come on, move on. Move! <laughs> okay. I think we just bring the letter to whoever this was. I forgot. I forgot, I'm sorry. Like I said, I spent 55 hours in the, the base game <laughs> on Act 1, but I've been running around so much that I actually forgot a lot of the stuff. So if it's not marked on my map, I'm probably not going to touch. But... Oh, wait a minute. Is my map... Uh, discovered from the, the previous playthrough I did because this is a this is the this is the the place we're into the adamantine forge in the underground huh all right that's a little bit weird all right, I'm, I'm not gonna touch that door or do I risk it I'm gonna have to go in there anyway I'm gonna... I'm gonna risk it. But after 
I go grab Astarion's little butt cheeks. And after I sip on some coffee. Mm. Alright, let me turn this off, because as much as I like to actually see what I'm looting, uh, it's getting annoying. Alright, do we really want to fight this right now? You know what, to make this easier for me, uh, first of all, I know a lot of people have actually missed this. So, you jump up here, and there's a chest. I know I missed this the first time I played. Uh, fun fact. Yeah. Fun fact. I'm not gonna take that. Uh, but, before I actually played through the, the 55 hours of Act 1, I did in fact have multiple playthroughs of, well, a couple of half an hours, I guess. And yeah, just explored around here, checking the options, checking how much I like the game. And yeah, I ended up just falling in love with the game, I guess. What can I say? Alright, uh, Shadowheart, can you shut up while my actual character talks? Like, for real now. Okay, where is the Stadion? I did forget. I have never actually... Oh, you know what I'm doing with this one? Testing some stuff. Let's not test the the spell slot, actually. Let me just smack it real quick. I will smack you. I'm sorry. Can you die? Yeah, let's not waste a spell slot. What is happening with this guy? He's, he's still alive, by the way. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna take those. I don't... The reason I'm not taking those is because I end up never using them. Even though they might be good for something. Hmm. Now, if I recall, the stadion is actually around here, but... Was there a chest around here somewhere? Alright, uh... I don't recall if a stadion actually turns you into a vampire and if that's any good, if it does happen. But I do know you need a stadion for, well, a potion, and we do need that potion. Alright, come on. I know you want to bite my ass. In the breaths, you, can kill it, can't you? Like you, the others? you know, they really should have done a meme with a stadion where he literally just bites the character's ass cheeks. Instead of the, the neck. <laughs> I, I would actually... I would actually probably pay money to see that. Alright. Whatever option we choose here, I know he's gonna attack us, but it's fine. There. Can you see it? I'm gonna play through this with options that I've never played... Uh, through with uh, my my actual playthrough, my de my default playthrough. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose uh, things specifically, so I don't know what's gonna happen further down the line. Okay, like a Starion, for example. I have never played with a Starion in my my group, so I'm gonna choose a Starion this time. Um. Sure. Don't we? we don't need to fight. Free, scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacles. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Uh, do let me know how you like the reshade, by the way. I may upload this. I have a bunch of reshades I've been working on lately, and I have, like... Uh, I don't know if people will like them, but... Me, personally, I'm enjoying every single one of them. 
I've done a bunch of reshades lately. Cyberpunk, uh, Final Fantasy VII, God of War, just a bunch of reshades. Batman, <laughs> the 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 Arkham City one. For now, anyway. Uh, yeah, just do let me know if you like this reshade. I may consider uploading it on Nexus. I'm, I'm holding them back for now. Okay, I may do a video later down the line showcasing every single one of the reshades that I've made, but that's, that's gonna be a lot of work, okay? Because I have like 20 so far, I think. <laughs> Alright. Let me actually show you, guys. Uh, can I? You know, never mind. The game is just gonna tab out. Because I'm in full screen. Um... Mind Flayer. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Yeah, I feel like Marisha just adds a little bit more to the game. It's subtle. It's very subtle. Okay? You can see the, the difference right now. There's no reshade. This was the reshade. It's very subtle, but I like the subtlety, okay? <laughs> Um, let's see. Gale doesn't like this, apparently. Will doesn't like this. But, uh, question. Do let me know in the comment section if uh, choosing these options without those characters here actually affects those characters. Because uh, logic dictates that if the character is not here, then they do not know that I have selected this option. Even though, well, the game itself knows, those characters should not be coded in a way in which they are affected. Because they're not here and they don't know I've selected this option. How the, how exactly does this work? Does anybody know? Do let me know. <laughs> like, if I choose this, will my <clears throat> affection level with Gale and Will uh, be lowered? Just, just let me know. That said, I, um, let's see, I do care, here's what I care about right now in this playthrough, okay? I'm gonna let you know right now. We are playing a Shadow Weaver, slash, what is this, a uh, Dark Paladin? Basically, a, uh, Dark Knight class? Slash, Macro? Okay. And what I care about is getting people that actually have necromancy shit. <clears throat> Accidental swear, I'm sorry. <laughs> Obscene language, Xerleo, please. Uh, getting people that, well, I can relate to as a character. Like, Astarion is a vampire, I know that for a fact. Uh, Gale? I, I, I may consider Gale, but I don't know. Even though you can literally turn Gale into a necromancer, I don't really want that for Gale. But Gail is very, very good as a wizard because of the push spell. <laughs> Thunderweave or whatever it's called is very strong. Very good. And I will need that. Uh, I will be choose the apology accepted one. Uh, a kindred spirit. Also, they both agree, so yeah. My That's an extra. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. And again, do let me know how you guys like the audio ducking. Okay. Baldurian, yes. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. Uh, they will tell the turn us into mind flares. Yes. It'll turn me into a monster. My guy. <sighs> You're already a monster. You're a vampire. It hasn't happened yet. Although we don't know that. <laughs> can find an expert. Someone that can control these things. There might still be time. All right. Um. So I'm gonna make a quick judgment right now. A uh, shadow heart. I don't think she likes controlling this. I think she get, she likes to she would like to get rid of the tadpole. Asterion apparently likes to control it. Uh, if I recall, Gail doesn't really like it. Neither does Carlac. Also Lazel. 
and I don't... Re no, actually, if I recall in my last playthrough, Gale actually uh, joined me in uh, controlling the tadpole in the head. Yeah, in the in my last playthrough, I actually ended up going with the mind uh, the mind flare route, kinda, and uh, upgraded my tadpole powers, which I don't think I will be doing in this one. Just 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 something to take into consideration. Well, yes, of course, but first things first. Hmm. Yeah, let's just, let's just travel together. He's an assassin. He's very strong. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Was it just me or did his body just kind of glitch a little bit? All right, let's level up a Starion. Uh, bear in mind, I think everything, every single class in the game kind of had a... An overhaul, if you know what I mean. So we may have stuff here that we don't know about. Um, level two, and he gets basically nothing, huh? Wow. Okay. All right, Starion, you get nothing. Um, now we go fight the the thingies because it's way easier. The brains, yes. And we do need the EXP. Also, I'm gonna be fighting the ogres. I'm just letting you know right now. I will be fighting the ogre the, the ogres. <laughs> the reason I'm gonna be fighting the ogres is because they have one item that I usually just take. It's, uh... Well, the, the, they may not have that item in this playthrough. Because... I don't know if it's random generated or, uh... If the mods affect that, but... Yeah. It's a circlet, if I recall. Yeah, you put that on your head. And it just sets your int to... Was it 16? Okay, let me actually move some stuff around. Because it's very annoying having to deal with all of this nonsense. Yeah, they, they do have a little bit of... Triple X Axion. Mind control, we don't need that. AI ally stuff, we don't need that. Okay, ranged options up there. Um. Okay. Grapple, there we go. Alright, so, bow. Sure, that's 90%. Whoa, 21 HP, huh. Okay, that's 9 damage. I will take it. I'm gonna stick to ranged attacks for now. Oh my god, wait, what? They got psychic damage ranged attacks? Um, confusion? That is news to me. <laughs> Alright, Shadowheart. Um, please hit. Four! Ugh. That's so bad. Alright, let me just use this on Cremiel. I do have to lower my volume in my ears because this is very loud in my ears. I do have the game, I think, on, on max uh on maximum sound. Yeah, the audio is to the max. So yeah, this is why I'm asking if uh, audio ducking is okay with you guys. Let me do know how, how you all feel about it. Because you guys enjoying the video is what I actually care about. Boom. There we go. Alright. Uh, where's the... Okay, you're there. You're up here. Alright. Oh, uh, no more action. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting how this works. I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, I only have like 55 hours, and I'm still not used to Dungeon and Dragons style tactical combat, okay? Also, I don't usually play turn-based games. My only turn-based games that I have actually played through are uh, Darkest Dungeon and uh, XCOM 1 and 2. 
Mm. And XCOM UFO Defense, which I've played back in like the early 2000s. Alright. Uh, do I want to steady on close? You know what? I don't actually. He's low HP because he got hit by the psionic wave thing. Let me keep using the free action even though it doesn't do much. Alright, smack. Got him. Uh, I will jump. I'm gonna force you to jump if you want to attack me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, shade shield. No, let's take this one. I will just tank. Because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to rest just now, and I know the ruins, and there's a goblin fight, and yeah, it's probably gonna be pain if I waste all my spell slots right now. So I'm gonna attempt to not do that. Uh, I'm gonna make this video as long as I possibly can, by the way, which means this is probably gonna be around at least three hours long. I'm, I'm gonna let you know now. Yeah. Um. Intellect Devourer Cerebellum. Intellect Devourer. Raggy? <laughs> I'm gonna do a Scooby Doo impression. Raggy? Ruby Roo! <clears throat> I wonder if I could actually play Scooby Doo as a character. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like Zoinks? Wait, why am I entering? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm having fun with doing random voice acting. All of a sudden. Um, I do want this naughty Lloyd tank. Why can I not grab this? Hello? Why can't I move? Oh, I'm in turn base. No! No, please don't attack! I'm so bad at this game! Yeah, okay. We're pressing Y. Ooh! Oh my god, the burn! Alright, camp supplies, and this, and the rapier. I'm not gonna take this, but... But... I am considering Will. The reason I'm considering Will is because I've played with Karlak before. And I, even though I said I may take Karlak, I don't remember if I actually clicked this. Even if I said I may take Karlak, and I do like Karlak, because she's very strong. Okay? <laughs> she is very strong. I like Karlak. Also, she's a sweetheart. So, yeah. Uh, I may just take Will this time, because I took Karlak last time, and I don't know how to use the soul coins. Okay? I do not know how to use them. Can I jump here? I don't remember. I have explored a lot of the stuff early on in the game, but I still do not remember a lot of the stuff in the game. Um, I'm gonna teleport right here, because I don't want to walk all the way there. Okay, so, uh, what I could do right now is either try to lockpick this door and go at this without Lazel, or go and take Lazel. Or I could kill Lazel, <laughs> because she's annoying. I have done this before, and also I know Lazel and Shadowheart do not mix. Although you could... Uh, Take both of them, and uh, romance them both. I think. Uh, they always just end up fighting because of the artifact, which is kind of annoying, actually. And Lazel just pisses me to flip off. She's very annoying as a character. I don't know why... Lazel is just like your, your average Karen, okay? I will... Uh, save game here, actually. Because my game will probably crash, so I'm gonna try... First of all, let me try to open. It's locked, okay. Um, let me try to lockpick. If this crashes again, oh my god! Okay, it crashed. 
Will lockpick it always crash? All right, um, attempt number three. I have had to actually update a couple of mods because, uh, well, without me knowing, the game actually had an update. So let's try to open the lockpick, to open this door a third time. Please don't crash. Let's go. <laughs> so the issue was related to improved UI and their assets. Okay. Uh, I did say I will check the die. Ooh, Behir, Behir Blue. Behir? Behir? How, how do you pronounce that? Sure. I like this one, actually. It's got a nice color. I I like how fast this is. I'm not gonna lie. The default one is way too... How did I fail? Oh my god, it's 20 difficulty. I just realized. Uh, well, uh, rip. I don't have Thieves tools. I, I could save scum this, but I'm not gonna. Alright. And I'm seeing some glitches, some graphical glitches. A lot of mods had updates. And I have not updated any one of them just yet. I am waiting for crashes. Whenever I crash, I'm gonna look into it, okay? If I don't have to update the mod, I will not update the mod. Because a lot of the updated mods are... Uh, sh we, we are not going in there. Not just yet. No, we need we need uh, Gale or Lazel for this one. Considering I got basically three melees, I think I, the smart choice is to get Gale. We need one ranged. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. As if malfunctioning. Let me touch. Ah, a hand. A hand? Anyone? You know, considering Gale's a wizard, <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. Um, why is he unable to get himself out of that? <laughs> Makes no sense, but it's fine. Um, sure, let me just pull your body out of that, because I can. I just, oh my god, critical failure? I may turn on the no critical failure, because that's so annoying to see. That is so annoying to see. How do I critical failure on, on like 17 strength? That makes no sense. There we go. The there is some clipping. I am noticing the clipping on the hand. It's distracting. I'm not gonna lie. I need to check my frames real quick. Give me a sec. Woo! Okay, I thought I had forty. <laughs> I I really did think I had forty. There are some graphical glitches. Not my cup of tea. Some some lighting that is. Waking in and out of existence. Uh, sure. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Norse Lloyd as well. The most gentleman of gentlemen's, Gale. And I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather. Unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. No use sugarcoating it, is there? No. The inserting <laughs> speak of this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? Here is the one thing I don't like about, about Baldur's Gate, by the way. Let me assure you, it is to be avoided. There is one thing. You don't have Only to one. A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric skills. What is with the glitching? Oh my god. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of 
You see that? You don't happen to be one of them. There's some weird glitching going on. I don't know. I was right. There is a this is a paladin class. No, I can't tend to basic wounds and ailments. I cause them. I am necrotic damage. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. My God, the glitching is pissing me off. Is it the reshade? It's the reshade that doesn't like something in this in this modded thing. Give me a sec. Uh something does not like to be. I've never had issues with this before. I may need to update Rishade. It's been a while. Let me let me try the freeze correction, okay? Uh sure, let's join. Okay, I think the the freezing the correction. Fix the issues. I've never had issues with this, by the way. This is the first time. Thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It's an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Yeah, that definitely fixed the glitching. The glitching was very annoying. Very annoying. I'm gonna have to update my reshade. Alright, so we got Evocation School. Um. Ooh! Goblin. <clears throat> Goblin. <sighs> Goblimancy. There we go. Graviturgy. Do we stick to Evocation? Ooh, Blood Magic. Chronergy. <laughs> Dimension Traveler. Hmm. Hmm. Let's check uh, the blood magic. Blood channeling, sanguine burst. We can choose to take necrotic damage. Let's not do that. Temporal awareness. You may add. Ooh. We get initiative rolls? So, initiative. The higher your, your initiative, the. The more likely it is that you will start your turn before the enemy. Uh, or so is my understanding of how initiative works. Chronal shift. Okay. We got a chronal shift charge. And the re this is a reaction. So after you or an orbite creature makes an attack roll or saving throw, you can force the target to re-roll. Additionally, you can grant a 1d4 bonus. Also, apparently, <clears throat> facet is a word in English. So I was right to use facet for dice, <laughs> apparently. It's not only faces, the, the facet is also a thing. Uh, also, I think I may have forgotten to actually properly explain the, the 1d4 thing. So you get one die... Four faces for Fatset, okay. The the more die, the, the higher the number in front of the D is. So for example, if it's a 3D, that means three dice, okay. That's three dice rolls instead of one, which is way better. Because it's a higher chance you will get a higher number, okay. That is how it works. I do believe I forgot to actually mention that in the first video. But I'm sure a lot of people already know this, since this game is very popular. I'm just explaining this for people that have never played Dungeons & Dragons. Or for people that have never actually played uh, Baldur's Gate. I, I should have said this in the first video. I am sorry for uh, omitting this. We got Illusion. Rise Dead. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Wait. Raise one fallen with all of its hit points. Oh my god, this this is potentially so good. In the underdark? Underside? Was it? 
I'm trying to remember that name, but I don't know. Let's let's see Goblimancy. <clears throat> Goblinoid training. Okay, we summon goblins. Ranged, melee, brawler, booyag. This is magic wizard style. Warrior, another melee. Sharp eye, this is sharpshooter with a bow. So what is this guy doing? Nothing? He's just... Just a random ass goblin. Does nothing. Default. Default goofy ah. <laughs> Enchantment. Hypnotic gaze. Oh my god. The, the wizard has so much new stuff. So much new stuff. This is why it's taken me so long to actually choose stuff when I'm leveling people up. Because th there's so much new stuff with all these mods. I may or may not have to do multiple mod updates during this playthrough, by the way. Just because the game keeps getting updated. So, yeah. It does end up breaking a lot of these mods. We may crash. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Magic disintegration. To your constant use of your own body as a magic conductor. Magic has completely eroded you. Well, I think we already know what we're choosing. Cause this, this is kind of... Kind of what Gale is. Okay? Magic constantly eroding at his body. And I think it suits him more than... Well, this. Which is evocation. Magic disintegration. Okay, you're compelled to forcibly maintain the incredibility of your body. Yeah, this is definitely Gale. Right here. I don't even need to read all of this. This is definitely Gale. Dimensional leap. Damn. Alright. Ooh. Gale bolt. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, this is bludgeoning. Crashing wave. Also bludgeoning damage. Cold. We do get one one cold. Hmm. Arctic breath. That's another one that's cold. Blade mirage. Okay, we don't need this one. Burning Hands is decent, actually. Wait, we get Burning Hands as a level 1. Wasn't this a level 2? I'm not completely sure. Uh, I do know Magic Missile is very good. I don't really like the, the Lightning spells much. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. Let's look for multiple die, okay? 3d6 is very good, 3d8 is very good, catapult, okay, but we need another object to actually make use of that, uh, long strider, let's see, we get, uh, we don't need an, actually, enhanced leap is good, because we can use enhanced leap on multiple targets, oh, but this, you, this waste is, this is wasting a spell slot, we are a wizard, though, Thunder Punch. This is in melee. We don't like being in melee with the wizard. Even though you could make a melee wizard, that is a thing. Here's the shield. I may just take this. I think Magic Missile might be the best. But... Just because it's, it's three missiles and each of these... Has potential for high damage. Same for the Burning Hands. But I think Magic Missile is better. I, I need to check some of these though. Crashing Wave is good. But it makes them prone. It doesn't have does not have knockback. It puts them prone instead though. Hmm. Water Blast? Another one that puts him prone. Gale Bolt. Knocks it back 3 meters, but this is on a single target, I believe. I don't like that. Man, I miss uh, Thunder Weave or whatever that was called. I'm not gonna lie. I am not going to lie. False life. Tasha's Hideous Laughter is good, because this is 10 turns. This is very good, by the way. 
But the fact that you need to have int of five or more... Uh, I mean, here's the thing with this. So this is very underestimated as a spell, I am pretty sure. Because this, uh, being 10 turns, first of all, is broken. Uh, second, you need uh, uh, the, the, the enemy you cast this on needs to waste a turn to get up. And this happens every single turn if they miss the, I believe it's a saving throw? Okay, so if they, if they miss the, the dice roll and don't get up, they waste a turn. If they get up, I think they also waste a turn, but I'm not completely sure. Let's see, uh, 600 turns of being invisible. Oh no, this is a servant. Oh, we don't care about that. So much new stuff. I think we just go with this and we go with shield. I think this is sensible. I think these are the best for this current level. And I like... Ooh, we get Thunderweave! Let's go! So we get this as a default. Nice. We still get this. That's, that's very cool, actually. Uh, I'm gonna remove sleep because a lot of these enemies have way more than 25 hit uh, 20 well yeah they do have technically higher than 25 hit points but it's way more than 24 you, you get usually 30 plus okay I will prepare this because shield I do need mage armor because yeah I don't like witch bolt I feel like witch bolt is either I don't know how to use witch bolt or this is really bad I'm sorry, I just don't like Witch Bolt. I don't like using it. I like Grease, though. I will keep Grease. I don't know if I want to keep Fog Cloud, but there is some interaction I can use this with. Uh, my my main character, uh, Kremiel, does have Dark Sight, and I believe... I believe... Let's see. Will this blind dark side? That's what I don't know. I'm trying to figure that one out, but it's it's not telling me. <laughs> okay. Has disadvantage on attack roll. Range attack. Okay. It doesn't... I don't know if dark side... I'm pretty sure this blinds dark side. I think dark side only works with heavily obscured areas and uh, darkness. So I think blind actually does affect dark side, which is a little bit of a pain, but yeah. Thank God we get thunder weave. This is very good, by the way. I will abuse the hell out of this. You'll see. I will abuse that as much as possible. All right, we we have four HP on Gale. Oh my God, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What is this? Uh, Non-lethal spells. Okay, we don't care about that. We will later, because I'm gonna try to get Mintara, but, yeah. Um, Echoing Recurse, this is permanent. What? Wait. This action can only be used once, and you will face powerful enemies afterwards. Therefore, please be cautious and prepare for battle, and choose open areas away from crowds. What? I am scared of this one. I'm not gonna touch this. Not yet, anyway. I'm gonna gonna put that out of the way. I'm tell you right now. I'm gonna uh, put it right here. Maybe push these a row back. And put it right here. Okay. Actually, let me let me put it here. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it like this so I remember. Don't touch that one. <laughs> not just yet. That said, why are you 4 HP? Jesus. Okay, let's see. Let me do it like this. Okay. Mage Hand is very useful. Thunder Weave, I'm gonna keep it like that. I... wait. Oh my god, magic... Di I did not read. Magic Disintegration, you can cast spells without the need for spell slot. What? Oh my god. Everything is an action. No spell slot needed for most spells. Oh my god. That's busted. Hold up. Hold, hold the phone. That is actually broken. 
that is actually broken. And this is permanent. Wait, was this... Yeah, no, this is broken. Uh, yeah, Dimension Traveler Gale is broken, but he's gonna die. <laughs> he's 4 HP, my guy gets hit once, a spit kills him, okay? Where is... Where is a Starion? Hello? What are you doing here? My guy just got stuck on a cliff. He is a vampire, a rogue, and an elf. I think he's an yeah, he's an he's a high elf, <laughs> and he gets stuck on a cliff. Uh, cliffhanger. <clears throat> All right, we go into. Do we save Lazel or do we kill Lazel? You know what? I'm gonna save Lazel, and I'm gonna keep her in camp. Just you never know. You never know, we may actually make use of her at a later date in time. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Oh, uh, be before I continue. In response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Before I continue with this, uh, do let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see me do like a, a full run of Act 1. Like, actually take my time with it. Or just go through the main story. Which I have not done, by the way. Like I said, I have not finished Act 1 yet. Ever. <laughs> I don't mind taking my time, so if you guys want to see a long playthrough... Do let me know. Um, Lazel gets a plus five from this, but it's minus one broke broke oath. I think I broke my, I break my oath with Shadowheart? Question mark. I'm confused. I don't know what that means. See, I get I get a minus one from charisma, which is annoying, but. Okay, I will just do this, because this seems to be the most sensible choice. Hey, let's go. Guidance is very good. Does help with your dice rolls. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. I think everybody just approved of, the, of this. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Okay, let me persuade. Accidentally pressed Q instead of 1. Alright. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa. Come. Nymessa. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please, bruh. Uh, see, Lazelle is like a... Observe. Let's see, I called her your average Karen, but at the same time, she's kind of like a dominatrix, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she's very annoying, though. Very annoying. I think I also need to make sure I get some ranged attack on this character. On Kremiel, she, she does need a ranged attack. Like, badly. One at least has to be in the kit. Let's see if I got... Wait, I can use this for free. Which is very good, actually. I can just one-shot this. Boom. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people Ooh, you know what I just thought about? I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Uh, first of all, what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. 
Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. I'm confused. Am I the only one that just randomly noticed her voice randomly change? I don't think I'm the only one. But her voice did just randomly change. Alright, uh, Shadowheart does not like us to go with the, the crash plan. And I know that for a fact. Also, they're gonna fight if I take Lazel. Uh, they may fight either way if I take her to camp as well, but... A simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. This is why I hate Lizel. <laughs> uh, even if... The, she's the kind of person that I just dislike in general in life. The one that has the god complex, okay? Even if they are they are at fault with something, they will never recognize it, and they will always believe they are in the right. One of those persons is my dad. You would sacrifice yourself to Gaeh. Such tiring mediocrity. I just, I'm sorry, I hate Shadow, I, not, not Shadowheart, I hate Lazel so much. I dislike Shadowheart for some reasons as well. <laughs> You'll see later, we will talk about it, but... Um, we don't, I don't think I take Lazel actually, I do not, oh man, but I, if I don't take Lazel, I don't get to, to do the crash thing, I think, but if you guys want me to, let's see, to explore everything before I finish act one, which I may do either way, but if you guys want me to do that, do let me know. That means I take Lazel. And I make Shadowheart dislike me for the time being. Because of that. But I also did not take Lazel in my last playthrough. I killed her. Why? Because in my last playthrough I played a Necromancer. And um, I just... I'm sorry. I took her armor and uh, the Fire Sword, which I have given her. Uh, I just need it back. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sure. Very well, but heed my words. The horned ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. Okay. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. So if you're wondering why Shadowheart and um, Lazel do not like each other, I can do a little bit of explanation from my understanding. So my understanding is that they are serving different gods, basically. And um, they are both from the Astral Plane, which has not really been explained in the game yet. So I'm not gonna get into that, because I literally do not know. <laughs> I literally do not know. All I know is that it's called the Astral Plane, and the other character which we have made um, at the beginning in the character creation screen, the other character is in the Astral Plane, and it's helping us with the tadpole. That's all I know, literally. So even if I would like to spoil more, I can't. I, I literally can't. But what I'm gonna do is jump up here, for obvious reasons, I know for a fact the skeleton dude that allows us to respack is in these ruins. I may have to heal before I go here, but I'm gonna... S uh, I don't want to save scum this. Okay, I'm gonna do something like this. You're gonna move here. Let me check how many potions we got on each. So everybody has at least two potions. Okay. I'm gonna throw my one potion here in the middle. Can I please throw it in the middle? Oh my god. This is why I dislike the camera and I need camera tweaks. The default camera in the game is so bad. This is one of my one of my only complaints. Also, I did want to talk about something. And I did uh, stall a little bit. And I know anybody watching 
may be wondering what it is that I dislike about the game. Uh, the, fe the facial expressions that the characters just randomly show for no apparent reason at times. Okay? There are some facial expressions that do not make any sense at certain times. Like your character just randomly scowling out of the blue because... I don't know, they like making random facial expressions. Yeah, that's one of the things I do not like. So let me just go into hiding and attempt to just smack this fool. So what I'm gonna try is to push this guy. Whoops, not throw. Actually, can I throw him? Man, why you turn around? <laughs> uh, I was in hiding. Annoying. Very, very annoying. I did not save. Anyway, I'm not gonna save scum this. I like I said, if we die, we reset character. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. They're annoying because as far as I know, it doesn't matter what we do, these guys will just fight us. So let me look at my options. The first one doesn't seem to touch anybody. It's very nice that I actually get to see what's affecting what, if you know what I mean. What is affecting what? What option is affecting who, rather? Now, Carlag does not like any of this. I will just touch on the intimidation part. But if I do that, uh, they do not like it. What I would like to do, though, even if I risk... Making Carlac a little bit annoying. Uh, I do want to take this opportunity to start working on my Shadow Heart. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Because I did just minus 5 her by taking Lazel. Oh my god. What is this? Okay. You rule hot air. Think you can get us to leave that bounty to you? Not a chance. Alright. I don't like the fact that this dude just randomly turns around and then these guys just show up. <sighs> what I also don't like is the fact that he's trying me to make he's trying to make me use Asterion first. Let me try to do this. That's a I'm sorry, that's a 95, bro. That is making no sense. There is a 95% and it's failing. This is what I do not like about this game. 95%. That should not that, that, that is a almost guaranteed success. And it's failing. I am failing high chances all the damn time. What I'm gonna do is no critical failure. Okay? No critical failure. That that is all I'm gonna do. Because I dislike those so much. You can play the game however you would like. But I'm gonna turn those off. There is, they, there is nothing that annoys me more than a dice roll at 95% failing. Okay. I know it's random. But that is much too random for my liking. Do I want to use this? Um, sure, let me see what this does. Let me smack him. Oh my god. That was 30 damage. That was almost max. Bear in mind, I did not take the reliable dice roll. I just took the no, no critical failure. Which means I can't roll a 1. Okay. The lowest result is a 2. That's all. <laughs> so I just got lucky with that one. Alright, uh, the fact that Astarion cannot sneak is a pain, but I can actually do a sneak attack apparently. No, I cannot, never mind. Never mind. I don't want Astarion in the front. I don't know why he's in the front, but yeah. I will move this guy right here. I'm gonna try a sneak attack again. It doesn't let me. Oh, I need to have advantage. Oh, okay. Alright, very annoying. I'm gonna just use the bolt. Let's 
see. The, the gnome is annoying, but... There is a mage on the other side. Don't think I did not notice the mage. I did notice the mage, or the wizard. Alright. You move here, because I do actually want them to have to move for a Starion if they want to hit him. I may just make a Starion like a, a guy that just goes full darkness and stuff. I need to check if he does have dark vision, because I forgot. Um, I'm gonna put... Actually, I do need to keep Shadow Heart here. What I do need to do is to make sure they don't target Gale. Gale's very weak right now. Like, absurdly weak. I'm sorry. He's absurdly weak. Get in there. Oh, I, I, I dislike this so much. I need to respect Shadow Heart so bad. Her default trickster thingy is... The, the the trickster cleric is so annoying. Oh my god, she just got destroyed. What the flip? Alright, that is cringe as hell. Please just die. Okay, that was close. Um... Yeah, they have auto-use heal potion. The toggle was made to stop auto-use healing potion when not needed. Wait, they use healing potions automatically? Since when? Was that always a thing? Oh my god, you put Kremiel to sleep. That's so annoying. Ah, <sighs> That is so annoying, actually. Do I have advantage? I do. Okay, I can sneak attack. Nice. I'm just... Smack these fools. Um, did I? Oh, Shadow Heart just died. I forgot the concentration or the, the sanctuary breaks if the the cleric dies. That is very annoying. Alright, I'm gonna... Can I sneak attack you from behind? I don't think I have advantage, which is kind of annoying. Can I sneak attack the mage? The wizard? I cannot. Uh, it's a pain. Why do you have to put Kremiel to sleep, bro? I'm gonna have to... Oh my god, if I shove her... This is such a pain. Okay, first of all, I need to wake Kremiel up. Otherwise, I just die here. I'm gonna have to push. But I can't push right now. This is so annoying! <laughs> uh, yeah, this fight is pain. Actual pain. Alright, not enough movement. Failure. Failure. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. Just wake up, girl. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Everything is going wrong. I don't think I can win this. Um... 35. Jesus. Alright, first of all, please wake up, bro. Please, just wake up, bro. <laughs> uh, the fact that I have to waste a turn. I, I can't throw a potion or anything. Uh, bear in mind, I may just die to a firebolt now. Again. It's gonna be so annoying. How do I do this? I can't shove. It's 45%. It's much too low. How the hell do I do this? I'm just gonna have to heal and take whatever they do. This is pain. Actual pain. What's more annoying is that they never miss. Like, they literally do not ever miss. Yup. Figures. Well, I wipe. Game over. Um, 
And you know, you know what? I take I take this back. This is this is bullshit. Okay. I'm I, I lied. I'm sorry. I can't I can't end the the series here, bro. <laughs> We can't do that. I'm sorry. This is actual bullshit. I cannot end the series here. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. This is just this is just the game being bullshit. I cannot end it here, bro. I have to safe scum this. Just because this is actual BS. Because they never miss a single attack and they they are doing much too high damage they're level two why are they doing 16 brother what is wrong with your damage okay what i'm gonna try is to put the mage to with haste. there's some water there kind of annoying actually can I ruin this mage real quick, please? Oh my god! Can I dimensional leap on the other side? I'm gonna die though. Like, I know I'm gonna die because Gale has 4 HP. I still don't know why that's a thing, by the way. Uh, huh? <laughs> um. 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 <laughs> um. Um. Uh. What? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I throw a bottle. It's a grease bottle, though. It's flammable. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna attempt something. This is so annoying. If I throw a grease bottle on Cremiel, will she wake up? Pat is interrupted. Can you, like, not walk up here and throw the damn bottle? Will they wake up? Okay, Gail woke up, but Cremiel did not. And that just made me... Well, she's just gonna throw a firebolt at me. Which is pain. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to push Cremiel off the cliff. You know what I mean? <laughs> this game! Oh my god, everything is going wrong! I'm gonna have to Sanctuary here. This BF. And heal. Oh my god. Let's go! Please? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can I dimensional leap this guy out of harm's way? Let's see, this is a bonus action. I don't remember if I use bonus action, if my actual action just goes away. But I'm gonna... Can I dimensional leap all the way over there? Well, I can't because I'm on green. Wait, I can. I can! Let's go! I'm gonna thunder weave your ass. Just get out of the way, bro. Thank God. Okay, she did. She did. Okay, let me not do the hardcore challenge in this one because. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna skip the hardcore challenge. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I said I'm gonna do that, but I can't. I don't. I think I'm, I'm ready for something like that just yet. I actually do not think I am ready for something like that just yet. Okay, so let me concentrate. Thank God you did not slip. Okay. Um. Man. Please don't fall, bro. Thank God. Okay. If I jump... I can't because I just used my thing. So annoying. Okay, athletics successful. But still. Anyway, uh, profane smite. I will use this one. 
I think if I jump, I avoid Grease. So I'm going to do just that. But at the same time, I have to kill off the Gnome. Because the Gnome is the most annoying one in here, I think. I'm going to risk a Profane Smite. 80%, that's good. Good damage. Good damage. So if I do Mark of Putrefaction... This is a bonus action, so I can't. Is this melee? Please tell me this is not melee. Wait, this is, does nothing, actually. I need Lay on Hands, I think. I think Lay on Hands was the one with... Uh, no, actually, it was this. The Mark of the Fallen. Okay, what I need to do is jump here. And just sit here. Okay? Okay. Okay, this one is doing much better. This run is way better than the other. I think I would have died if I didn't uh, use resistance. I think I actually would have died. Okay, question. Is this out of range? Thank God it is not, and it's 100% hit. Okay. Okay. Bear in mind, this is not even the harder fight. The harder fight is inside there. Which is why I said I can't do the hardcore challenge. If I'm dying to this, if my entire party got wiped by this, by simple honest mistake, uh, I'm gonna wipe inside there 100% even if I don't do the mistake. And yeah, I'm just not ready for this. I'm sorry. Even though I would like to do this, I am not ready. Astarion! Astarion! You bitch! Please just do some damage, thank you. Alright. Um, I hope you die. Oh my god! Okay, this guy just is focused on Astarion for some... I'm sorry, why are you healing? How are you too far? Oh my god. Okay, this is a 65. I'm gonna have to, to just dimensional leap over there. Yeah, Gale's broken. This dimensional mage thing is broken. Like, actually broken. If I use flame thing, I'm gonna just burn everybody and I don't want to do that. Okay. So my thing just wore off. Uh, let me move and attempt to melee, even though Shadowheart is not known for doing the melee properly. Yeah, this is what I mean. You know what? I'm gonna mark of the fall on your ass so hard. With this... Oh, long range, I can't. Uh, long rest. I, I can't do that. So annoying. I need to use the, the Lay on Hands charge, but I think I did that on the Nautiloid. Man, please don't miss. Oh, thank god. Okay. I am going to attempt to save Scum as little as possible. This is very annoying that that happened. I did not plan on doing that, and I actually did plan on... ...wiping. If you know what I mean. Like, actually just restart, but I... I'm sorry, I can't restart in the second flip in the video. I, I can't, I just can't. So let's just play this normally. <laughs> I, I take that back, I'm not gonna do that. Um, let's speak with the dead. Is this a spell slot? No, it's a ritual. Okay. Ritual means I... Uh, wait, I killed this guy myself, which means he's not gonna talk to me. I think. But this one seems to talk to me. Alright. Alright, uh, we don't care about who you are or what your profession is. We care about... Do you have many people inside? Alright. Um, 
Let's see, what are you doing here? Okay, that all? You find anything? Alright, so in the lower crypt is where we actually need to go. Um... Alright, let's just... Who's this? He doesn't know. I think it's dedicated to Kelim Door, though. So I'm just gonna let you know that. But how do I get into the crypt? Yeah, I do not remember how to actually get into the crypt, which is why I'm doing this, by the way. Alright. What is inside this place? Oh, we, we did this already. Alright, let's just skip. Alright, just, let's just leave. So the reason I did this, I, I talked to this guy like that, is because I actually do not remember... It's been 50 hours since I've done this. You... Astarion, you absolute bit. Uh, I need to stop these. I actually need to stop these. Because I do not want them wasting their potions randomly. Um, can I send their... The potions from Gale... To Shadowheart? Actually, because Gale's not gonna need them. <laughs> what are these? Cosmetics, okay. I never actually checked. Arcane chest. Okay. I never actually checked what is in my inventory. Uh, no more heals. Annoying. Sure, let's keep the, the heal for Shadow Heart and... Uh... Alright, let's keep it on. But that was very annoying that it happened. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna use one, though. Just just in case. Okay, so this dude has onions. A shovel. An arrow of acid. I should have actually given that to Astarion, but I'm gonna take a bow myself. We do want a bow because we have no ranged options. Let me actually check inventory. Okay, what is this keychain? I have no idea. I'm assuming this is where I keep my keys, so they don't take up space. Okay, we have a single-use chromatic magic missile. Gotta keep that in mind. We are water, and this water we might use for uh, Karlak. Cool her off, because she's hot, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I will take Karlak soon. Ah, annoying. Please move. There we go. Ah, let's not fall in there. Please just completely avoid the hole in the ground. Thank you. Alright, and since we threw Kelena down here... Divination without magic. We got magic armor. Or mage armor. Let me read. The Ten of Weaves, the Comet, Death. I thought this would give me something, I'm not gonna lie. But it's fine. This information may be used for dialogue options in the game later down the line. Okay, this is why I'm doing that, if you're wondering. Um, I don't think I need a torch, but I'm gonna take it. Alright. Incoming pain, but let me save first. Uh, yeah, I... I know I said I would I will be doing the hardcore thingy, but I will not. I'm sorry. The I feel like doing that on tactician in basically my first tactician run is BS. So I will save that for a honor mode run. Okay? 
<laughs> I will save that for honor mode run. I think that is more sensible. Um, let's see. We can use deception. Let me do the deception because this seems like the better choice. Uh, okay. Okay. Bear in mind, I could have failed this. Alright. Alright. Uh, I will probably end up smacking this dude. I don't think there was ever an option for me to not fight these. But I will try. Wait, can I disguise myself? No time to dally. I wonder if Shadowheart can use disguise to... Basically steal the appearance of somebody. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. But that would have made that would have made a lot of sense actually. Anyway, Let's move. I was hoping that works. Uh, I don't know why Shadowheart is in the back and why Gale's in the front like that. <laughs> Very annoying how the game just decides that for you. Yeah, insta-fight, insta-fight, but we do have initiative. And for some reason, a Astarion is in the front, but I'll, I will take it. Let me... I have initiative. I don't have advantage, though. Okay. Well, at least you do not miss, so I will take that. Alright. Let me just shadow missile you. Wild Magic Surge. Yeah, I don't... I, I really don't care for that. Honestly. Because the only bonus action I got is this. And I don't care for that right now. Yeah. What now? Wait, can I use bonus action for free on these other characters though? I wonder. Let me jump here. Smack you. <sighs> it, the, something I hate in this game and just dice rolling in general is a failed hit in melee. Let's finish this. Yeah, I just hate seeing my hits fail in melee. I feel like it's actual BS. Alright, I still have initiative. Nice. I do need to check my theory. So, yep. Okay. The keychain does actually hold the, the keys, so I don't have to use extra slots for the keys. That's actually kind of nice. I'm going to take this guy's bottle, just because I may just use it for something later on. You never know. Um, We will take these. I don't care about the torches. I don't think this is dark enough to justify the use of a torch. I'm sorry. Okay. Always room for more. I could camp here. I need to check if... I still have a short rest. So I'm not gonna do that just yet, I think. Um, actually... I may have to. If I recall... The, the peeps in here are very strong. Very strong. And I do need probably the profane smite. Or the Chilling Smite, so they don't heal, at least. Let me actually use the Undead. On this one. Okay, since Astarion is the one who killed them. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I assumed that since Astarion was the one who killed them, I could make use of the Speak with Undead, but... Or speak with the dead, rather. But apparently no. 
So this is a teleport. Huh. Um, I need to increase my HP so I can't be put to sleep. This was something that was very annoying with the, the, the other wizard guy or person. I forgot it was female, I think. Yeah, anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I think we need to camp. Because I need my spell slots. And uh, fun fact, I may choose the the multi-class option for the Shadow Weaver. And I may go for Wizard just because of Arcane uh, Recovery. And I may go Dimensional thing because free spell slots. Yeah. So let me just go long rest, I guess. I do have a short rest, but... Uh, does not recover the wait. Hold up. Okay, so I do. I do need one short rest. I don't have the the long rest right now, which is good. Very good, actually. Okay, I'm gonna save here because the game may crash. My game has crashed before when opening this door. Please don't crash now. Let me check the party. Okay. It's good. Decent positioning. Okay, no crash. Good. Insta-start battle, though, is not good. It, it's not something I like to see. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to jump here. Because this person is just gonna run away otherwise. And even so, there's still a chance they may run away. Boom. Miss. The fact that I miss on so so high strength and uh, agility. What, what is my strength and agility again? It's uh, dex, actually. It's 16 dex, 17 strength. And I'm still 55% only. This is so annoying. Let me actually examine. Yeah. Okay. I did forget to check the dark vision on Astarion. But it's fine. Let me move here, and I can actually move a little bit further, but what I'm going to do is gonna I'm going to jump here. So when they run away, they have to run through Shadowheart, and they trigger the opportunity attack. Okay. Of course Shadowheart misses. This is what I want to, this is why I want to respect Shadowheart. She's so bad, bro. She always misses. Like, actually the worst. Alright. Um, I'm gonna do this, even though Ray of Frost may actually be the play here. But, yeah. What I'm actually gonna do again is use my bonus action to leap in front. So she has to go through a melee attack from him as well. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, boom! Shadowheart actually hitting, bro. Let's go. Okay, Astarion did not get a turn. I'm sorry. Whoops. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Okay. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. I did accidentally click on her. Um, standard installed. Okay. <laughs> We're pressing 5. We don't really want to talk with Shadowheart right now because there's no reason to. I'm gonna take the potion. The poison. I think that's fish, actually, in German. The uh, French, not German. Let me take the book of final breath and actually read it. Okay, you can read these books if you want, by the way. Just pause the video and read those. But we will be moving forward. Uh, we have some barrels here, which may prove to help a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to move these barrels. So I'm gonna open inventory. I don't know if there's a quicker way of doing this, so let me know if you guys actually know. Um, 
I think I can grab and drag these without actually... Yeah, okay. Okay, never mind. I found a quick way. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna block the door. There's a barrel here, so let me actually try to open and see if there's anything. Okay, nothing. Uh, I'm gonna block this entrance. I think I should probably do this instead. Whoops. I'm gonna block this entrance. I am hoping they cannot pass through the barrel and they have to jump. And if they jump, they're gonna get uh, they're gonna get hit by this. And what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna step backward a little bit. I'm gonna use uh, grease. Is this the play? How many turns? Ten. Okay, I'm gonna have to speed this up a little bit. So I'm gonna grab the thieves' tools. There's a door here which is locked, which is kind of annoying. I think this is the uh, door that is, that is uh, literally unpickable for some reason. Can you all move a little bit? Thank you. Alright. Gale, do your thing. I may accidentally call Gale uh, Graves from League of Legends because they do kind of look similar in a way. <laughs> Sometimes I may call them Graves accidentally. Uh, if I do this... Is that going to trigger the candle to flame the grease? Uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. What I'm going to do though is... Uh, I need to make sure I hide this guy, bro. Okay. I need to ungroup these people. They're being annoying again. Whoops. Man, I got... <laughs> I gotta just get wasp, bro. I gotta get wasp working somehow. Okay, we don't need to talk to a Starion. Please. Just let me do my thing, game. Okay. Shut up, bro. <laughs> Another god complex right now. Shadow Heart, I need you to move a little bit back. Just... Sure, take the torch. It's not something I wanted to, but sure. Alright. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blast the door with magic missile. I'm hoping they're gonna jump over the wooden barrel near the barrel with oil. And then I'm gonna just flame them. Luckily, I don't have to spend the... Uh, any spell slots, because Gale is broken that way. Can you please break the damn door? Thank you. Okay. Now, I'm gonna try with Asterion to hit. I'm also gonna have to back off. Let me do a sneak attack. How I... How do I not have advantage? We are literally not even in combat. How do I not have advantage? That's pain. Anyway. Okay. I'm gonna try this with... It does not work. Anyway, they, cl they came closer. That's good. I'm hoping they just jump in and get flamed upon. <laughs> Please don't hit the barrel. Oh my god, they did something way worse, actually. Um... That is very bad. That is very bad. But if I grease here, that may be good. Okay. I'm gonna open this door. I'm gonna just put Gale right here. Okay. I don't want Gil to die randomly. He got 4 HP. Little bro is, uh... Whew. Okay, Asterion did. Rip. I do need to heal his ass. Let's see. This is the more healing. So I'm gonna do this. Yes, you can't just heal them through the, the death phase. 
And he has 9 HP. I'm gonna do another heal because I do not want him to insta-die. Also, I don't want to waste the potion. I would rather just waste the spell slot. And let's see. What I could do is just get in there, but I do not want to do that because I'm gonna die. Um, They're humans, so they are already... Not immune to necrotic, so I'm not gonna do Mark of Putrefaction. Uh, can do I want to throw a bottle of water on Asterion? He's got two turns of burning damage, it's so annoying. I need to take him a little bit further back. Can I? I have no action, why? Did I not end turn? What? Confusion. Yeah, this dude? Oh my god, he dipped. That's so bad, actually. The reason that's bad is because, if I recall, he enrages himself. He's like a berserker. And not only does he do that, but... Um, he does way more than, that, than just that. Okay, I'm gonna assume two bolts are enough for this guy. And I'm gonna start hitting on Hasid. Because he's very annoying. That Hasid dude is just very OP at this stage of the game. Mark. Vanguard. Alright, Asterion, can you not die? Please. Uh, I don't want a guiding bolt just yet because they are humans. And we will have to deal with a couple skeletons in the crypt. I'm gonna have to heal Asterion. It's a little bit of a pain, but... Yeah. Alright. Um... I think Shadowheart just sitting here is the play. Maybe a little bit further back, actually. So I don't get AoE'd again, randomly. If you don't know what AoE means, it stands for Area of Effect, which is stuff like this. What is the range on this? Okay, so I could literally just go on the mage, kill it. I don't want to do that just yet. I have two stuff that are melee. I don't want to just teleport on the mage just yet, because this guy is just going to turn on me. I want this dude to, to, to just run forward into the flames before I teleport. Oh, I forgot about the... Man, that's annoying. Oh, there's a... My guy is blending in with the destroyed door. Actually, that may be female. Anyway. Broken concentration. We broke Hunter Mark. Nice. Alright, this dude is the most annoying one, so we need to make sure... Yeah! Okay, Fog Cloud, we don't care about that. I'm gonna start... Uh, target is too far, why? Oh, I'm obstructed, huh? Yeah, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to Dimension Leap. Okay, let's try to make use of our... Abilities. I cannot seem to hit the Duergar. Very annoying. I have to move forward just a little bit. Okay, please be in range. Thank you. I think three is the play. No death. That's annoying. Five HP. Ensnaring strike. Annoying. Another Haunter mark. Um... Target too far. I'm gonna just leap out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna stack everybody, which is very annoying, actually. But this this is very, very, very much annoying. And it does affect Asterion and everybody else. Please die. Man! <sighs> Shadowheart gotta be the most useless default... Goofy, ah, 
<sighs> yeah, alright. I'm gonna teleport right away. Actually, if I do that, I'm gonna die. Man, that this is pain. I'm gonna just wait, but let's not end turn. Let's... How are you too far? Oh, I'm in the smoke. Pain. Yeah, I'm gonna make Shadow Heart tank the hit. <laughs> I am going to make Shadow Heart tank the hit. Please die. Oh my god, bro. That is so annoying. What do you mean for? I can heal. But I want to just throw the healing next turn. Okay, I'm going to have to move Asterion, otherwise he's going to die. Let's just run backwards, because we do have the advantage of the flame area just doing damage. And please, not enough movement? What do you mean? Oh, that is actually cringe. Not enough range. Well... 30, alright. Let's use the flame. Critical miss! I forgot to turn that on, did I not? We we hate those. No critical failure, please. I hate that. I'm sorry, I hate that. That is the most annoying thing to, to have to see. A critical miss. And of course he's not obstructed by the smoke for some reason. And, and everybody's blind, oh my god. That's actual BS, by the way. Um, I'm gonna grease again. Wait, do I have to actually go there? <laughs> uh, that's, that's pain. Oh my god, it's the... It's the blindness, isn't it? How long am I blind? Whilst on sir- Oh, it's because I'm in the- Bro. Okay. Oh my god. Actual pain. Alright, I'm gonna have to dimensional leap here. Actual pain, bro. Let me just do the grease. Burn them again. There we go. What? Oh, I'm polymorph. This is the first time I see this. I'm an actual sheep, bro. <laughs> oh, Gale the sheep. Yes. Yes, we have some extra stuff here. Huh. Okay. Sheep mode activate. <laughs> Uh, alright. You will be tanking this hard if they move. Okay. I'm gonna just... The mage is the most annoying thing right now. I'm gonna start to have to work on the mage. Woo! Critical hit! I did not touch the, the critical thingy on, the, on her. Okay, um... No critical... Failures. Wait, did I just reliable damage roll on uh, somebody? I think I may have accidentally on Gale. It's fine. I'll just check again. I really want to just get in there. But let me just hit the mage from afar. Oh my god. I really just want to get in there, but... At the same time, I don't want to get destroyed by this hasted dude. Or Hasid? How do you spell that? Is it Hasid? I think it's Hasid. Cry, you died to fire. Well, time to smack a fool. Yeah, I will just use everything I can. Oh my god, this guy's so strong. Let's see, can I move in melee right over here? I'm gonna try to push. Please. Damn it, man. Alright. Can sheep attack? Um, no. Well. 
What is your HP at? Six? Hmm. Not good. Uh, I'm gonna have to, first of all, do this. A little bit of resistance. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Too bad I can't throw and do the spell at the, in the same turn. That is very annoying. Also, I keep forgetting about Mage Hand. Oof! Oh! Yeah, this is why this guy is very annoying. This guy is broken at level 2, bro. Like, actually broken. Gale? Okay. Jesus! Alright, Gale's the only one that actually survived. Yeah, that dude is broken, broken. See, this is why I did not want to do the hardcore anymore. <laughs> I changed my mind. And somehow, Gale is the only one that actually survived, while also being, being polymorphed for two turns. I need the long rest before I proceed. Hmm. Okay. Let's... Group mode. I don't want to waste my potions, so I'm gonna have to long rest. No! I forgot! I forgot! See, this is why you turn that off. Ah, I, had, I have to long rest either way, so doing that is such a, an annoying thing to have to happen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just wasted four potions. Because my ass forgot to turn auto heal off. I don't even know why I, why that's auto toggled on, by the way. Um I will take these javelins. Alright. Let me check these rooms. And I got thirty minutes to go through the, the thing. Oh, I need a I need a quick break, by the way. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alright, so we are back. I had to actually grab a bite. I had to nibble on something. A little bit of chips or something. Just was getting hungry. Hung hungry. Henry? <laughs> was getting hungry. And yeah, Asterion does in fact have dark vision. And uh, dark vision is in fact still affected by blind, so I guess I was right. Alright, um... Gale is the only one that does not have dark vision. Which means I can literally just send these three up front. At least for now. Um, anyway. Shadowheart is the only one that actually still has a potion, so I'm gonna send this to Astarion. And I'll make him drink it. Because he's 1 HP. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's actually finish this script. Not script, but crypt. Yes. Alright. We got some rags. Some. Let me check the book. Book thingy. Let me make sure I do this. For now. Okay, just a little bit more organized. Okay. Let's just read and not take the books anymore. Again, you can pause if you would like. To actually read these. I know some people like to actually read these uh, books you find randomly. I know I did that too at some point, but... I can't be bothered anymore. There are way too many. Way too many. Let's see what we find on these buddies. Yes. Whoops. I accidentally grabbed the book, but it's fine. Alright. Again, the reason I read these is because they may be useful later down the line. For some dialogue options, you never know. Uh, let me actually try to open this. Alright. I'm trying to smack. 
Woo! Got him. Uh, I think this is exactly where I'm supposed to be going, but I don't remember. So let's try to speed this, actually. We do have some stuff in here, so let me actually grab this. Uh, I did read this previously. I'm gonna drop all these books. I They're just extra clutter in my inventory. Oh my god. I forgot that's not how dropping works in this game. You can't just drag and drop like that. It's gonna drop where you put them to drop. And your character's just gonna move there. Alright, let's read and not actually grab it. There we go. Let's read the plaque. A dedication to a forgotten god. I believe it's Kalimdor, but I may be wrong. Alright, I'm not gonna touch all of these, because if I recall, there are only nonsense books right here. And we've already read most of them. So yeah, we do not touch those. Uh, okay, let's go. Alright, we got some chests in here. And uh, do keep in mind, every time you're in a dungeon, you are very likely, very likely to find traps. I already kind of know where the trap is, this time, fortunately. And I already know I may just get one shot, but hey. Okay, let me... I'm trying to read. Okay. Again, if you would like to actually read this, pause the video. Uh, have you oak doors? Sure. Perception failed. There we go. So, every time you're moving and there is something there that is hidden, you will have perception checks, you will also have survival checks, if you're in nature, basically. Uh, yeah, this, by the way, a, a thing I do not like about uh, Baldur's Gate is the fact that they are hiding these and your character must do the, the check to actually appear on screen, okay? So for these to actually appear on your screen, your characters, your party, must actually pass the check. Which is actual BS, because that's not how anything works. You would normally see this, no? The fact that this is hidden from view is BS. I, I don't like that, okay? I actually do not like that. Okay. The fact that I gotta waste a... Trap disarm toolkit for this. Ugh. Please don't fail. Thank you. If I don't do this, by the way, my entire party just dies. And I do need to... What I need to do is to... Make sure I do not take my entire party with me. Press this button. Also, make sure I turn this off because it's getting annoying. Because, yeah, I can't see everything, but it's also annoying that I can't see everything. <laughs> so I, I believe pressing the buttons also disarms the traps, which is why I did it. We are grabbing these. Gotta make sure... Yep. Extra trap. I think they are disarmed, but if not, I, I'm just gonna do this. I'm pretty sure they're disarmed, because I think I just stepped on one when I went there. There's a trap. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is why you die. <laughs> I just hope I don't die when I actually open this. <clears throat> I'm just checking around. Okay, please do not die. Okay, so this is where you get the Watcher's Guide. 
which is actually a very good weapon early on. Okay, so that button does in fact disarm the traps. Uh, there is actually a trap on this, by the way. On the sarcophagus. If you open this... If you open this... You also... Um, well, the traps just go off. And you will die. Hmm. I'm sorry, no. I said attack, bro. Really? That's kind of annoying, because, uh... I just broke the other door. Why is this stronger? Sturdier? Makes no sense. Anyway. Oh my god. Bro. There we go, finally. Jesus Christ. Alright. We found the exit, which is pretty cool. What I also need to find is the actual crypt. Um, was it this door? I forgot. Mm, nope. All right, there we go. Engraved key. Then we get a bunch of undead, which is kind of annoying, actually. What if I pick him up? <laughs> yep. Figures. I will profane smite him. I'm just gonna get the one out of the way. Okay? Just right off the bat. And then there's this entube scribe right here, which is kind of annoying, but... Shadow Heart, please do your thing. There we go, that's a hit. Um, I'm gonna actually go into melee. So I make him uh, unable to <clears throat> properly use his ranged attacks. Mm. Mm-hmm. Alright, how do I... Man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. Because I do want to get into melee. Excuse me while I actually munch on some chips, because I'm very hungry right now. <laughs> very hungry. Can I hit you though? Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Okay. Alright, decent damage, decent damage. I should have probably saved my stuff for this one, though. Uh, let me put Gale a little bit more in the back. Also, maybe here, so I can actually shoot the other dude as well. Oh, there's another one here! 
Diamond man, how many skeletons? How are you not dead? Annoying, but no damage, which is good. Another fog cloud. How many fog clouds are you gonna fog cloud too? Okay, never mind. Yeah, magic missile strong. <laughs> High defense. Mm. Annoying. Annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna mark of the fallen. I do not have the lay on hands one, which is kind of annoying, but. Uh, I do need to check. Are you people immune to fear? Apparently not. Shouldn't undead be immune to fear? Wait, can I actually use this? No, I cannot. I thought I could use this for some reason. Alright, I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna mark of the fallen. And I'm gonna just have to get in the way. I don't know if uh, skeletons can be blinded, but yeah. Oh, there's... I did not... I forgot about this one. Anyway. Rips. Um. Sure, let's make Shadow Heart tank. <laughs> there we go. She got hit hard, bro. Holy. Alright. Gale putting in the work. Sterion is dead. Shadow Heart is close. Eh. Not ideal. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Um, okay. That is not something I expected, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna hope Kremiel can actually tank a hit. Alright. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, do your thing. How oh my god, I mean I mean blindness, I forgot. All right. Ugh. Oh no. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's even worse. Oh my god. Another wipe. Jesus. See, this is why... I, this is why I had to break my own rules. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Alright. How do I do this without dying? Oh, it saved before I st after Asterion died. That's so annoying. Forthwith. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just destroy this fella. Because otherwise they can be annoying. Alright. God, I wish I could just dimensional thingy right there. Actually, I maybe could have, but I didn't do it. Anyway, I keep forgetting about stuff. Hmm. Mm.
Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's prone. Nice. Never mind, he's not. Annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna just move backwards, actually. Alright, that's good. 70%, I will take it. That's 10 damage. Alright. Oh my god, I was trying to avoid being hit by that one. Mm. Very not cool. Please die to missiles. Oh my god. Alright, just move next to Sterion. Yes! Good job, Shadow Heart. Let's go! Hey! The only time Shadow Heart is actually useful. When she up against the um, undead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rest. And, um... Uh, we do that. No! Alright. Something good here, I hope. We take that. Oh, uh, chest. Come on. We take those. All right, we go pick up a Starion, and then we go enter that tomb. I don't get my beauty sleep soon. I may just get a tad malcontent. And since we already de uh, dealt with the skeletons, we don't have to anymore. But a uh, pro tip: kill them before you enter the tomb. Otherwise, they're gonna be annoying with the positioning. Like I did just now, I actually. Uh, Killed one before anything else happened, which is very good. Oh, it's Yurgle. Jurgle? Gargle? <laughs> Gargle, Gargle. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, open the door. Alright. Heavy... Heavy chest. Um, sure. Talk with the dead. Alright, so this is basically where... I forgot his name. Winters? I, I, I don't know. Something with a W, I think. The the skeleton dude, or on that dude, he's gonna... Allow us to respec our characters. And I'm glad I actually pulled this off in this video. Two minutes before I should actually stop the video. Very cool. Damn, we're full of blood. <laughs> yep, there we go. There's the dude. We need him. We need him bad. Forgot his name. Winters? Withers? Something like that. So Withers. There we go. Spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. Okay, I don't really understand this character. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Uh, fun fact. This is actually my first time seeing this dialogue. Because every time I came here, um, he just never showed up. I don't know why. He just showed up directly at my camp. <laughs> so this is my, my actual first time having this interaction with Withers. Hmm. Uh, quite a question. Alright, I am very much confused about this guy. Because I have no idea why he's helping. Other than the devs just making him help. 
I will not attack. I'm sorry. So I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Hmm. The Paladin one seems reasonable, I guess. Also, this one, they're all correct, kinda. I'ma just choose a six. By what standards thou shalt judge. Also, I need to move in like a couple minutes. Like, I actually go and end the video. <laughs> we have met, and I know thy face. Nice. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Okay, I asked the wrong questions. Who the hell is he? And why has he prophesied that we sh we shall meet and we will uh, open the sarcophagus in the dank crypt? Anyway, yeah, I'm very confused about this Withers character. I have never actually had this interaction before with him. So I'm even more confused than usual. But it's fine. Anyway, we need the long rest, and what I also need to do is end the video. So, we long rest right now. I've been told there's something here. Traveler's chest. Nice. What do I have in here? 18? Um... I'm confused. Am I the only one confused here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, okay. Where's the 18? Hello? Was the chest just showing me Lazel stuff? I'm very much confused. Anyway, let's figure out what is happening in here. Oh, Lazel wants to talk to us. Yeah, let's not do that just yet. Um, what? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> this is also weird. Some shenanigans on my screen! Yeah, I don't know what's happening, but there's something I cannot click here. Which is very annoying. Yeah, anyway. We rest, we end the video. I will see you guys in the next one. But first, let's see if there's actually any interaction that just randomly happens when we sleep. Because I know the game does that. Uh, we auto-select because we don't care. We full rest. Alright, I don't know what the, what the thing that happens there is. Okay, nothing happened. Alright. And with that said... We do actually have kind of a menu here. What is happening? Yeah, I don't know. There's some mod that is definitely broken. Something traveler chest related, possibly. I'm gonna have to look into it. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. And I am out.